Hi everybody, my name is Doug Wilson and this is Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors and I'm here with the Grizz, right? The Grizz. So you guys know that him and I like to get out into the field as much as we can, right? He and, he and I. Him and I. He and I. He and I. He and He gets out in the field. Him gets out in the field. Doesn't work. Him. He and I. <laughs> <laughs> He's right again. <laughs> he and I get into the field as much as we can. And I'm more of a, a gear freak. I like good gear, right? It enhances my uh, time out in the field. Bob is like, he likes the old tried and true stuff. But when he finds something cool and new that he likes, he'll get it. Right. Anyway, so you guys stay tuned, and we are going to talk about the 2018 National Bushcraft Rendezvous that we're having in Kentucky. Um, and uh, what's, what's Jacob Peterson's going to be part of this, but we don't know if he's going to be if he's going to have a baby. Right. He's having a baby. Right. He is. He is. Him, him is having a baby. <laughs> so, you guys stay tuned. We're going to tell you all about the National Bushcraft Rendezvous 2018, which will also double as the Yellowhawk Customs Outdoors Fall, Fall Rendezvous Annual 2018. Roger that. We'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it over to Bob. He knows a hell of a lot more about this than I did. He pretty much put this thing together by himself um, because, honestly, I didn't want anything to do with it. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> this is his baby, right? So take it away, Bob. Hi, uh, guys and gals. Uh, by the way, um, <clears throat> I I'm about doing things in a, in a large way. Um, when I was in the Army, I was an operations officer for combat support hospitals and things of that nature. And I was always in, in charge of or, or making the big picture, okay? And bringing units and, and peoples and skills together and so forth. <clears throat> I've always been that kind of guy, like an organizer, you know? No brag, just fact. I mean, I put together Team Poland Lacrosse with the help of a, a Polish compatriot and I made that happen for them to go to the World Games. Um, I, Doug and I put together a venture crew and scouting when we, we just decided, hey, let's make it happen, you know. So um, I was watching a video of last year or so. The British have a, a bushcraft gathering, okay? And there are some other people around here who have a bushcraft gathering. You know, I wanted to have a national bushcraft rendezvous <laughs> where I tried to bring people from many states together to have some fun and camp out and meet each other. Well. <clears throat> One of the reasons why we put it in Kentucky at the Paragon Dispersed Camping Area in Eastern Kentucky, Daniel Boone National Forest, okay? Uh, it will be November 3rd through the 11th. The 3rd and the 11th are travel times. That's, a, I think, a Friday and a Sunday of 2018. Saturday is set up, Sunday, whatever, hang out. Then it'll be like the midweek we're going to be doing uh, different types of um, skills and crafts and trading and, and hawk throws and, and whatever, okay? I'll talk about that in a moment. But um, everybody wants everything done on, on this grandiose scale. And they think that because you don't have Dave Canterbury or Matt Graham or uh, who else? Doug Lund Wilson. Doug Wilson, Cody Lundy. <laughs> And Geronimo there. Geronimo. It's it's not he was, the, the Apache were great survivalists. It, you're you're not going to get anything. It, it's not going to happen. Right. Okay. So I uh, decided to hell with that. I mean, I I reached out to some people. It taught it takes money. Now. Yeah, these can, guys want to get paid. Yeah. Right. We, we can do this without paying somebody. Right. Right. We have people within our groups, our memberships of which Doug belongs to many, I belong to about seven or eight. 
that have the skills or the where for all to want to teach okay and or have done it and just want to show like I said in a, in a video before how did, did, did ancient man ask Matt Graham how to make an addle addle no no he asked he, them he wasn't there okay <laughs> so the whole thing is is when you're by yourself and you need you see a woolly mammoth and you want to eat okay well you sure as shit are going to remember some sort of a skill and maybe a class at, at a gathering or whatever and uh whatever you're going to think of some way to take that woolly mammoth down so you can eat them all right you know primitive man didn't have all these youtubes and these professional survivalists and all those other stuff right now i'm not knocking none of it these guys is how they make their living but i'm telling you right now you can do it too and mostly everything that I've ever done and Doug has done, how do you think he got the Kydex thing going? He had an idea, he researched it, he said, I'm gonna do it. And that's what I used to do. I'm just gonna do it. I learned to kayak that way. I didn't go to a class. I went to a kayak place, bought a kayak, read some books, flipped over a couple times, and became pretty proficient, all right? All right, just because you don't have the stamp of approval from a bona fide certified program that you can't enjoy yourself. So, that being said, I gotta say something. Go ahead. I have a real issue. Now, I have no problem with people, guys, earning a living, right? Um, but these skills, these survival skills, these bushcraft skills, I, I really, honestly, like to gravitate toward people with true, actual experience in the field. I grew up in the field. I spend a lot of time in the field. So if you spend a lot of time doing something, you're going to get good at it. You know what I mean? And to charge people for you to teach them these skills, I don't know. I'm on the fence about that. I know you got to make a living, but I charge. It's like Native American ceremonies, right? There are guys out there, medicine men, right, who are charging people for these ceremonies. Two, three, four, fifteen hundred bucks for a sweat lodge. You know, so everybody team, can think right? they're official. Right. You, so you see. I got a big problem with that, you know, big bucks being spent on something that if you got the right people around you, you can learn it yourself. Right? You just got to gravitate toward the guys who actually know what they're doing. That's all. Like, like I said before, um, this bushcrafting thing is not new. Right. Okay, it's not new. Um, I, I did it in Boy Scouts. Yep. Everything you guys are learning, I, we did in Boy Scouts in, yeah, the, we six, like, in the 60s. We like to say we okay. were doing bushcraft before bushcraft was, was popular. Yeah, right? and, and then, then I went through the survival phase. Everybody, you know, Rambo came on board and and Lyle is making his Rambo knives, and everybody's got around with a hollow knife. You don't know how many army guys ran around with hollow knives. Right. Okay, and had fishing kits in them, and right. condoms, and birth control. And, and had no idea and, and, these are weak knives. Yeah, very weak knives, you know? okay. But, you know, it was promoted. Generally. The, the commercialism was, was phenomenal. Well, just to get off of that bandwagon, uh, what we want to do is we want to invite as many people to this happening, all right? So far, we've got, I guess we've got a good you know 16 maybe 20 people you don't have to come all week right some guys are coming a couple days you come for the day some are coming for the day some are coming to the weekend whatever uh we're going to have a nice banner put up and uh and, and i put it in kentucky because it's sort of like is in the center of areas where a lot of guys like to do camping and bushcrafting like ohio indiana west virginia virginia North Carolina, and, you know, all the western part of North Carolina, and so on. I mean, even if the guys from Irish Zombie Nation wanted to come from Missouri, it would be a two-state hike or so, they could still get there if they wanted to, okay? Mm -hmm. So Doug and I, we have, we're, we're caravanning down with a bunch of guys from Maryland. It's going to take us about eight hours to get there, and we're going to run down, you know, uh, Virginia, 81, and then pop up to uh, Kentucky from the bottom up to this area, okay? Now... I have a forum, uh, it's the National Bushcraft Rendezvous 2018, where you can get most of the information you will need for this event, okay? You have to become a member now, because when I had it public, 
too many knuckleheads kept asking me if they could join it. Well, after <laughs> after this is done, it's just going to be an information uh, bulletin. That's it. There's no bushcrafting in it. There's no skills in it. There's no nothing. Okay, it's just information about this event. Right, okay? the forum. It's, it's the just forum. A, just and so if you if you want to go, you you can PM me at Robert Bieschke Jr. B I E S C H K E, and you'll know it's me because I'm wearing a red ribbon shirt with a grizzly's paw, grizzly bear's paw on the back. Okay, PM me, hey Bob, or whatever. What's going on? How's this working? Okay, or you can PM Doug. And he's got his information all out there. All you got to do is go on the click, and he's got phone numbers and whatever. All right. Or you can get me at bob 2 at hotmail.com. And that's all lowercase. B-O-B, the number 2, S-T-I-C-K-S, at hotmail.com. But remember, this is Bob's baby. <laughs> so I might not be able to answer your questions. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's quite simple. I mean, he'll, he'll just text me and say, hey, Bob, what up? You give right. this guy a call. But... Um, I, I did it because you know Jacob was going to help me out, but he, you know, because he lives in Kentucky, he's having a baby. Okay, uh, we haven't heard from Chris Higgins in a while or Pagans in a while, uh, and we hope he's going to come. He was helping me out initially. Okay, so I mean it's it's okay. I mean I I'm a big boy. I make you know it'll, it'll happen. So let me share with you what we're going to be doing at this uh, event. First of all, we're going to have an opening ceremony. Okay, you're going to get an information kind of a small information packet. What's going on? stores that are nearby, towns that are nearby, which is Moorhead, Kentucky. They have an ambulance, they have a fire company, they have a hospital, they have a general store, about 20 minutes away or so. Okay? It's a city. If you need to refuel, or if you need to get wood, or you need to get whatever you need to get, okay? Um, also, there is a dollar store at the north end of the lake, there's a lake there also, okay? Uh, that you can go to, it's about 15 or 20 minutes away, once, or five minutes away once you get to the, uh, the ranger station, okay? Um, I have a I have a list of rules and regulations, but you can go to uh, it's in the Cumberland region of the Daniel Boone uh, National Forest. It's the Paragon Dispersed Camping, Camping Area. area. Right. Now now uh, <coughs> Peter J uh, Jacob Jacob Peterson, I keep making him another person. Peter Jacobson. Yeah, Jacob Peterson has camped there and had a an outing there before, and he really likes it and suggested it. You can camp there for two weeks without a permit. Okay. Uh, you can have open fires in fire rings. They will, they will, may have latrines there. They may not. So we have to practice. Leave no trace. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a car camp sort of thing. So you can park where you're going to be setting your, your gear up. At. I'd like to have them all hidden if you can into the woods, or if we can do a local area just to make it look a little more natural and pristine. But other than that, uh, there's, there's no water there. You got to bring water. Or you'll will filter water. And that's no, gonna, no water. No, you got to. There'll be a, no there's, no coatable water. There's a stream there. I said we're going we're going to do a class there, uh, which Doug's going to work on disinfecting, and or filtrating, uh, you know, pond water, stream water, whatever. There's also a lake. Okay, I intend to take a bath there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm hoping uh, it's cold. <laughs> me too. Uh, it, it's usually going to be between uh, 60s at the most. Okay. And uh, lows of 40s, maybe 30s. It could surprise us. Who at knows? At night, right? At night, correct. The um, <clears throat> um, you bring your own food. You do your own cooking. I'm going to be making some bannock and wieners and stuff like that. I'm actually going to cook over a fire sometimes, which I normally don't do. I, use, I like a backpack instead. Okay. Um, we're going to have an addle addle build, and we're going to be making a, a big target so we can shoot at it. We're also going to have tomahawk throw, so bring your tomahawk. Okay, I'm going to bring mine. Uh, Doug may bring his bow and arrow. Okay, bow, and you can bring a bow and arrow. No guns. No guns. Yeah, don't are bring allowed. any firearms. It's no, just, no, uh, no guns. Just not a. It's just okay. not a. You know. No pets, unless they're on a leash all the time. Okay. No alcohol. Okay. No alcohol. And these guys, they they come around looking. All right. These rangers will look. All right. Uh, we're going to have an anorak bill from some old blankets to teach you guys how to sew. And that's something that you probably will finish up when you get home because that's going to take a while to do. But um, we got a gentleman, uh, Greg McClure, who's built PVC bows. He's going to do a class on, on it. Doug's going to talk about bow drills. He's done a number of them. He's been su quite successful, especially in his underpants at night. <laughs> he does great bow drilling. You guys just see, you know what I mean? So he has to get a light. 
anyway, um, we're going to have uh, wilderness first aid and evacuation. It's going to be taught by me. And we might even have a scenario that I'll just bring up out of the clear blue once the class has been done, a couple days later, see how you guys respond. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we have um, we have a potluck where everybody brings something to a, a central area. We all throw it in the pot and we all eat together. Uh, every night we'll have a, um, a, at about 8 p.m., every night we'll be under a parachute tent where we'll have a, um, a talk of the day, any questions or answers or anything anybody wants to talk about, okay, uh, to learn. Uh, we will also, uh, you can do whatever else you want to do. I'd like to do an overnighter, do a walkabout, get people out there into the, into the bush for an overnighter and taking minimal uh, gear with them. Um, so, and Doug, who, who sings quite well Native American uh, songs, spiritual songs, what might, uh, you know, present us with a good song. And uh, we'll just have a good time just being guys and hanging out and maybe trying to get that... Uh, that primitive feel, all right? And no, this is not a structured thing, right? If you don't want to participate in classes or whatever, right. not going to be many, right. right? Then you don't have to, right? right? Do your own thing. It's, and, this, is, this is for you guys. And it's free. You and know, it's free. You have to pay for a class. Because some gatherings, they pay for a general fee, $200 to go to it. Then they have, if they're not registered, or they do have to register for separate classes, by you know Creek Stewart or uh, Stewart Creek or Creek Creek Stewart. Okay. So Stewart's Creek. Stewart's Creek. So anyway, um, he was an ex-boy. He was an Eagle Scout too, like the two of us. We weren't Eagle Scouts though, but uh, I was life. I think Doug went to Star. But anyway, um, that being said, that's November the third through the eleventh, two thousand eighteen. The Paragon Dispersed Camping Area. Daniel Boone National Forest, Kentucky. It's the Cumberland region. The closest town is Moorhead, Kentucky. It's south of it. Kentucky. 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 Okay. Uh, so, come on down. Spend the day. Bring your expertise. You want to teach something? You want to show something yeah. off? We're going to have a trade blanket. Okay. Every night or every afternoon. Bring your knives, bring your gear, bring whatever you want to bring, and trade or sell. Okay. At the end, we will have. I'm, I'm giving away a knife and sheath system that I built. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a giveaway, and everybody's name is going to go into a hat, or right. we're going to pick numbers or straws or something, right. and somebody's going to walk away with a knife and sheath system. Every every. Uh I'm trying to get every class we have is going to be filmed to up to a point. We're going to try to make this something we can do again next year, and more people will, you know, participate. Whatever, because it's supposed to be a national bushcraft rendezvous. Right, David. guys from all over, from and, everywhere, and that's what's happening. Guys are coming from all over, but yeah, people. I'd you, like to see somebody from Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I got some guys in in England that that would love to come here. We got a guy in Sweden that would like to come, but it's just too far. Um, but um, it's uh, you know it, you either, either you're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it. Okay. Yeah, we're like vampires. We got the sun on us. So um, think about it. Think about a vacation, hanging out with guys you talk to on on you know Facebook. Right. You never met them. Here's a chance for you to meet them. I mean, Put Doug a face and I. To the name. Yeah, me and Doug. Doug and I have made good friends. You know, just just by our, our rendezvous, we were small. We had 16 or so, the first one we ever had. Mm -hmm. And we had people coming for the weekend, too. So, um, it's up to you. It's going to happen whether you come or not. <laughs> because right. I'll be it, there whether you it, are or not. Exactly. I mean, it's just, we, 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 we're too old to re rely on people to maybe the crew right, would have right, showed yeah. us. And I, and, and I don't really care whether you have to work, don't have to work. But you know you can find time. You know your day's off. So rather than, you know, I don't know skinning deer or, you know i don't know riding your motorcycle yeah it's Nothing okay wrong with that. we don't come need to hear excuses yeah, and we don't stuff excuses. like that you don't want to come you don't, you don't want, want to come, come don't come you know but um we're hoping to make this a hit and uh next year it'll be even bigger and then i'll have more headaches right now <laughs> i don't have that many headaches okay <laughs> so you're more than welcome please though pm me or join the click or the woods runner on the minds of 
Hawk and Grizz. Those are the two forums. Ask to join. I'm an admin on both of them. I usually take I'm care. I'm not. I take care of this guy so he can do she's, okay? So just ask and you'll be able to get the information or go to the National Bushcraft Rendezvous 2018 forum and ask to join and I, and I will, uh, you know, accept you, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. God bless. See ya! Out.